Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mesa Manabrini by name. Today I'll be talking about the female reproductive system. This system is divided into two. You have the external sex organ, which is also known as the female genitalia, and you have the internal sex organ. So we'll be looking at them individually. So this is roughly what the external and the internal female sex organ looks like so let's go into them individually so what is the external genitalia this external genitalia is the part of the female reproductive system that can be seen externally this can also be called the vulva so it consists of the mons pubis the labia majora the clitoris labia minora vagina opening, hymen, perineum, urethra opening. So let's just have a brief view of what all this is. So the mons pubis is basically a fatty tissue that covers the pubic bone. This mons pubis can also be referred to as mons in short or mons veneris. Okay. Then we also have the labia minora and the labia majora so literally labia means lips majora means something that is large and minora means something that is small so basically labia majora is a large fatty tissue foods that protects the external genitalia that's the vulva then the labia minora is also a fatty tissue that surrounds the opening of the vestibule this is directly beneath the labia majora as the name imply minora that's something small so it's beneath the majora we also have the clitoris which is a projection that is formed from the coming together of the labia majora and the labia minora this is the most sensitive part of the external genitalia and why is it sensitive? It's sensitive because of the presence of numerous nerve endings, which is approximately 8,000 in number. This clitoris is homologous to the glands penis in male, which is the most sensitive part of the penis in male. It's also sensitive because it has high number of nerve endings, which is approximately 4,000. Then that leads us to the vestibule. What is a vestibule? This is the part of the vulva that you can find between the labia minora. So this vestibule contains the urethra opening and the vagina opening. Then you have the hymen. What is hymen? Hymen is a thin skin that partially occludes the opening of the vagina. This hymen can be torn either during vigorous exercise or by sex then you also have the perineum this basically refers to the area between the anus and the genitals so that leads us to the internal sex organ so the internal female reproductive sex organ consists of the vagina the cervix the uterus the fallopian tubes and the ovaries so let's take them one after the other. What is a vagina? The vagina is a fibromuscular canal, which is about 10 centimeters long and is lined with non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. The vagina has numerous roles to play, such as receiving the male sex organ as the penis and also receiving the sperm. It also plays a vital part in childbirth because the fetus lifts the body through the vagina and it's also a part by which menstrual blood lifts the body. So that takes us to the cervix. What is a cervix? Looking at the diagram, the cervix is directly below the uterus. So basically this is a cylindrical shaped part of the uterus 
that connects with the vagina. So this plays a part to prepare the sperm for fertilization and it also plays a vital role in childbirth as well because its dilatation during labor aids in childbirth. This cervix contains what we call columnar mucous cell and this columnar mucous cell produces mucus for lubrication. That takes us to the uterus. What is the uterus? Literally, uterus is known as womb in a layman's understanding. This is a hollow muscular paired shaped organ in female, which is about 7.5 cm long, 5 cm broad, and its thickness is about 2.5 cm. The uterus helps to house the fetus that's the unborn baby till it is fully developed and ready to leave the 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 body that's doing labor so this uterus has its own layers and parts so let's talk about the parts of the uterus so you have the fundus looking at the diagram you have the fundus of the uterus and you have the and you have the body okay so these are the parts of the uterus then that takes us to the layers of the uterus the uterus has three layers which is the perimetrium the myometrium and the endometrium so perimetrium is the outer layer of the uterus which is the thinnest of all the layers then the myometrium Literally, myo means muscle. So the myometrium is the thickest layer of the uterus, which consists of smooth muscles that plays a role in childbirth as its contraction helps to expel the fetus out of the uterus. Then you have the endometrium. Endo means something that is inner. So th this is the inner layer of the uterus. Okay. So this takes us to another part of the inner female reproductive sex organ that's the fallopian tube fallopian tube can also be known as uterine tube this is a hollow muscular organ which is about 10 centimeter long and it's made up of various parts the ischmus ampulla infundibulum and the fimbriae so the ischmus is basically the part that connects with the uterus okay then the ampulla is the site of fertilization then the infundibulum it's the lateral ending of the fallopian tube then the fimbriae this is the finger-like projection that helps fix the oocyte once it's released from the ovary that leads us to what an ovary is okay so ovaries are paired over shaped organ that attach to the posterior surface of the uterus by what we call the broad ligament so this ovaries has its own function as well it helps to secrete hormones that are vital in reproduction such as the estrogen and the progesterone and also it produces the eggs which is also known as the oocytes without these eggs fertilization is not going to occur and there will be nothing like formation of the fetus so that leads us to the end of the female reproductive system thank you very much for staying tuned Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification button so you could be able to get notified when I post a new video. And please don't forget your comments and vital. Just drop your questions, comments, anything, improvement, criticism in the comment section or any topic you want us to talk about. Thank you.